Welcome back to Take 5. A Bad Penny Always Comes Back. It's a children's book written about the Dutch plight during World War II. This is Glenn Mitchell's first book, and he joins us today to talk about it and how it all came about. Welcome to Take 5, Glenn. Good to have you here. Thank you. It's my pleasure. This is a, a, a beautiful book. It's beautifully illustrated, but it is a story. I, I'm, I'm interested to know why you chose to tell it as a story for children, but first let's talk about the premise of the story. The Bad Penny is an airplane that did food drops in the Netherlands during the war at a time when the Germans were actually starving the Dutch people. That's correct. And the thing that makes this um, the interesting part of this is the Bad Penny was the first airplane to make the food drop because they were there was no guarantee they wouldn't be shot out of the sky when they made the first drop and it was after they made the drop that they were able to radio back and say we were successful and that same day about 250 additional airplanes took off and began the whole food drop relief effort over Holland on that day. This was a, a tragic and extreme situation for the Dutch people. They were literally starving to death. They were burning their furniture to heat their homes. They were eating tulip, tulip bulbs That's correct. for nourishment. I mean, they, they were right. about as bad off as you could right. get. They, they have it still remembered over there as the hunger winter of 1944. And uh, it's a very, it was, it was very sad. And uh, obviously the, the food drops came at a, the, the most appropriate time for them that they could start, uh, you know, uh, getting better and starting to be eating and be normal again. They called this operation manna, which means food from, food from heaven, heaven, right? I love that. It's beautiful. And then um, I think we're going to show some video inside the pages of the book. You wanted to tell this story for children. You heard the story and were struck by it and wanted to tell it to children rather than the adults who make decisions about wars, I guess. Why kids? You know, I don't, I don't really know the answer to that. It just struck me as being amenable to being a children's book. Uh, the whole story that, uh, of, you know, a little boy in the field. This all really happened. The little boy in the field looking for food and here comes a plane out of the sky and literally drops food right by his feet. And, um, and then he later comes back and is able to meet the crew. And so that, I think, was the, the impetus for saying that this is a, a really heartwarming story, even though it was a very unheartwarming uh, period of time, mm -hmm. particularly for the crew, as they were making this first run over enemy territory with no uh, guarantee, the, uh, no gunshots. Now, the pilot of the Bad Penny and even that little boy, they're still alive today. Have they seen this? The, the pilot has passed away. Oh, he has the, passed away now. The radio operator, Stan Jones, is still uh -huh. alive. And uh, the little boy, Peter, he has met the crew several years ago. The, the surviving members of the crew all got together in Windsor where the pilot's hometown was. But since then, he's passed away. Uh, but I have met Stan Jones. I have met Peter. And uh, I've had a lot of conversation with them about the old events, the, the whole story. And it's just been so interesting and very educational for me. And I feel very lucky to have been involved in it and uh, been able to come up with a really way of remembering a very valuable lesson and story. Yeah, it's, it's a history lesson, but it's also a message about, you know, sort of humanity and the impact of, of war and, and really a spirit of survival, I guess. That's true. It is. And uh, again, I think it's very important that stories are remembered because if they're not told, they're forgotten, and once they're forgotten, of course, they never re return. Well, I love the name, the Bad Penny for the airplane, because a bad penny always comes back. And right. this plane went back and back and back, didn't it, and dropped more food? That's correct. They did about six total missions, I think, of food drops. And that, of course, would have been the end of the war for them. But before, they had done some regular bombing runs over Germany. And so it was a true war plane, and this was a big deal to drop food. And I think anybody who lived through that time certainly remembers that part of the war when that food came dropping in. Now you're going to be doing some readings of this book. That's correct. We'll be tomorrow at the, I think it's St. Anthony's School and at the West Side Christian School uh, in the morning. And uh, like 1045, I think we're at uh, West Side and 1245 at St. Anthony's. And there'll be an opportunity to hear the book, you know, and purchase the book. Mm -hmm. And then uh, if you don't, of course, the old website thing, go to www.badpennybook.com and you can purchase the book online. That website is on our website, so go to wzzm13.com.
check it out on Take 5 Links, and you can find out more about buying the book. Thanks so much for being with us today. My pleasure. Really neat. Good luck with it, too. Thank you. All right, uh, celebrity. Uh, oh, we want to tell you that we've got some books to give away of this. We've got uh, callers five through nine at seven eight four. Take. We'll get an autographed copy of the book. I don't want to forget to do that. Uh, please be fair. Remember our thirty day prize rule. Call us at seven eight four. Take, and you'll get a copy of a bad penny always comes back. Okay, celebrity choreographer.